Go check out ufifa.com for all your team of the season coin requirements. You can use the code TVM at the checkout. The link's in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to a team of the season, Al Jassim player review, the Saudi Arabian player who plays for Al Ali, I believe. Anyway, this guy is pretty much now discard value, I picked him up for 15,000 but I can't sell him, which is just as well really because I think I found the best team I've ever used and I may do a squad builder on it soon and he is in it. So let's have a look at his in-game stats then, his dribbling is pretty much all green which is nice to see, 83 agility, 87 balance. Uh, 85 reactions, 86 ball control, 82 dribbling, his shot power over there is 80, long shots 81, positioning is 80, finishing only 75, we'll talk more about that in a minute, short passing is 84, long passing 83, stamina 92, back to the other side and his acceleration is 82 with only 78 sprint speed. We've pretty much talked about everything there. Apart from his head in his only 66, but he's a central midfield player who is five foot six. So what honestly do you expect? He's got fairly decent head in considering he's only five foot six. The guy is a little wizard in the midfield. He really is. He does things you just wouldn't expect him to be able to do with that card. His finish in there, for instance, 75. What a finish into the far corner. Plays um Gets played in down the right-hand side. He's looking to maybe put the ball in now. None of it. Trying to take on the entire defense instead. Then plays it across. Really should have done better from the striker. He's got three-star, three-star, right-footed. The three-star, three-star is just as... You know, it, it's fine. It, it works. Obviously, any player with four-star anything is good. But uh, it, it doesn't need it. He really doesn't. His shot power is right on point as well. Causes enough of a problem in the defense where... Or for the goalkeeper, rather... Off his shooting, what a ball that is. Um, off his shooting, that uh, shooting from distance is worth it with this guy. You know, like sometimes I always take shots from distance and it's just, it doesn't do an awful lot. The goalkeepers are, are equal to it and it's just a waste of time. Well, in this instance, this guy can shoot from distance. Uh, I didn't even mean that to rhyme. He's got ridiculously good ball control on him as well, to be fair. He's known as like Tessian or whatever his name is, what, what Taser. I don't know why that comes up as Taser, but it, uh, yeah, that's what he's known as in game. And um, we're coming into the final few clips. This is just this really sums the player up for me. Just works, you know. He's lost. The, he pl he's played it forward once. They've lost the ball. He's got it back again. He's trying to make something happen. He's played it inside to Al Sommer, who plays it outside, and then who gets the ball back in here into the six-yard area. His positioning is great. He attacks the six-yard box, trying to get in there, and then finally just proving that he can dig a shot out from nowhere into the far corner, past a pretty decent keeper as well. This guy is very very good my expectation was only a 6 going into it, 80, 83 rated team of the season with not one stat over 85. I wasn't exactly thrilled to be using the card, but he surprised me pleasantly because he's a really, really nice card. 8 out for my enjoyment, 8 for effectiveness. He, he just he just works, you know what I mean, when a player goes in there. Not necessarily um, one that you're going to notice every single game, but he pops up with vital interceptions. He gets in there to do, obviously, some great assists in there as well. He, he he does tend to break up the play, even though his defensive stats aren't the best. His slight tackle is 54, for Christ's sake. But still, he gets in there and he just he gets it done. He's an unsung hero, essentially. And that's what I really like about him. Value for money, of course, is a 10, because he's worth next to nothing. My overall rating, therefore, is an 8.5. Like I said, I just really enjoy him in the midfield. And he is actually one of the reasons why my team at the moment is unbeaten. Because this guy is so good on the ball. And there we have it for a yet another player review. It's going to get thick and fast up in here very, very soon. So you better hold on to your wage packets. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have done so. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until the next time, goodbye.